I love babes. There's nothing better. They're so sweet. You can cuddle with them. You can hug them. They make me all giddy. And if you have all the hottest babes, that's heaven on earth. <laughs> Just to hug and cuddle and squeeze. It's beautiful. This is just a random video. <laughs> so I was listening to uh, The God Virus by Dr. Daryl Ray. And he says, I think it makes sense because it's like people are zombies when they're infected with the God virus. And that's, that goes with dark sex, dark sex, clothes, clothes. There's like different levels. Of course, the highest dog sex, the clothes is like totally zombified infection virus. And then, yeah, obviously other ways is, um, yeah. That's, uh, indoctrination is a hell of a drug. I mean, you know, come to think about it, and you know how people say that the people that wrote the Bible probably were stupid? Well, maybe stupid maybe about science, but in terms of getting people to believe in religion and control them and fucking make up crazy imagination story. You gotta check out Secular TJ, The Origin of Satan. They didn't make a movie of this. I mean, wh why wouldn't... You know, they have the Always Jesus movies. Let's make a m movie. I forgot to tell the other side. Of Satan, you know? And then maybe, like, Nicolas Cage can play Satan. And then Tom Cruise could play God. Or <laughs> or maybe you can make a video game where they can fight or something. You can pick whoever you want to win. And then, you know, if you win, you guess you go to heaven. And if you lose, you go to hell or... Make a game out of movie of it. I think the bottom line, it obviously, and it comes down to any non-believer is if there was proof of any god coming down, or, or you know, of other realms, or, you know, specifically the gods of it, any religion, you would have no no way. To believe, I mean, even if you wouldn't worship him, because it's it's there. If you didn't believe, you'd be like delusional, because it's right there. You know, you see it, interact with it, touch it, feel it, everything. Well, maybe he doesn't want you to touch it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think indoctrination is a hell of a drug. I mean, because. How, how could you believe in something that you just can't see? I mean, he's like, why believe in a God you can't even see, you can't even act with? I mean, I just, uh, I mean, yeah. That doesn't make any sense now when it doesn't make sense when I was a kid. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could see how it's cool to, like, what do you do in heaven? Supposedly bounce on clouds and, I mean, do you work? You don't have to, you don't have to work? You just worship all day? No, that's... No thanks. Uh, <laughs> I just don't... Get it. 
Well, I mean, I, I mean, I, I actually heard there's like supposedly, I guess like a Wizard of Oz kind of thing, right? Streets of Gold, and but but then you have evil people that are in heaven because all you have to do is repent, right? So you have evil people there, and that's gonna be chaos, I think. <laughs> And I mean, what happens if you're you decide to be whole transhuman, either halfway or full cyborg, and then you die? Then well, maybe you wouldn't die. But so, like, if you did, how does that work? I mean, <laughs> does God know about transhumans, and does God know about cyborgs? How? I mean, you. Would, you would be a more human, but then you're going to be another human? Are you going to hell and Satan's going to see you as a transhuman or cyborg? Or... I don't even know how that works. Yeah, I think the problem with the religions, it's... It's not like if the if the if the religious book or the God was like the the total book of all existence, it would have the past, present, and future, you know. Uh, yeah, there's no future. Where, where's the future part in the religions? Where's the AI? Advanced AI going to be coming. No mention of that. No mention of robotics. Remember, we're talking about an eternal book. That for all existence. That covers the past, present, and future. Or is there no mention of AI? Robotics. Drones. If I mean, I could write a book. I could call it. A new Bible or something. And they, it could be like cover the past, present, and future. But the but the thing is, you can never cover everything because everything's forever going to be keeping involved. So that book is just not aware of any God and not eternal. And <clears throat> because it's coming. I mean, the AI is coming. Neural link is coming. You know, connect your brains to computers. If, if if the book was a whole thing, this will say this this would happen this year. This would happen this year. That could be a prophecy, but there's nothing like that. There's no prophecy of Neuralink. There's no prophecy of AI. There's no prophecy of robots. Uh, there's just uh, no prophecies come true. Raptures. I mean, we're talking about the future stuff. No mention of AI, no mention of robots, no mention of universal income, no mention of... Um, but, uh, yeah, I have to say, Dr. Nation is a hell of a drug. I mean, like, damn. How, how can somebody... I mean, I guess I'm a kind of person that that need that's needs big evidence, you know. Um, I don't know. Dark Nation's a hug drug. I say. I, yeah, if, if 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 I can see a god, interact with it. I just don't understand. It's just like you're worshiping the air. <laughs> you're talking to air, you're worshiping the air. I mean, that's just silly.
I have to say Nostradamus probably is, I mean, at least, you know, he, he, he at least had like, like some future predictions, but of course they're kind of speculative, dubious, but, you know, people can make sense of it, or, but at least it's, I mean, more future based so long as you can throw it to it. supposedly, it's like all poetry, metaphoric, but, you know, <laughs> like Bible codes, you know, it's just people want to see patterns, just like Michael Sherman's book, Patternicity, we're pattern-seeking peoples, you know, but, um, yeah, I think, like, Peter Bogosian says, you know, faith has robbed people of the awe and wonder, it really has, and that's sad, I mean, it closes people to find out where we come from, what happened, you know, why we exist. It it gives a false truth, and then they they, they get closed away from science, and, and that's that's bad. Because everybody needs to know the real truth, you know, the origin of life, and you know, maybe, and we can find out one day. I don't know when that will be, but perhaps one day, and obviously how the universe started, why it started, and. And, um, yeah. But, some people say they'd like to live forever, but I think it, like, uh, maybe Thunderfoot said, you know, if you live forever, you would accomplish and do everything you could forever. That would be, like, boring. He said it would be like hell. You know, it's... Like it, I think about living forever, not in a heaven realm, but maybe in now real world, because science is ever changing the universe. So much to, more to learn forever, because I mean, you know, we have until like, well. Let's say forever, because they won't be forever. The universe, but but a billion years <laughs> that's a long time. So <laughs> if you can live like a billion years now, because that's when the universe supposedly will end. Uh, but living forever in a heaven world. I mean, what do you do? I mean, the religions. Don't match up with science. So that that realm, I, w I wouldn't want to live forever. I mean, I wouldn't even want to live in that kind of realm. Worship, no thanks, it's boring. And, but living in, in, I don't know, billion years right now. You know, till the universe ends. Well, yeah, uh, but that. No, no, heaven realm. 